there and welcome to House of Science Science with Mahi Hanna. Today we are looking at the House of Science kit Dem Bones. One of the things that we look at in this kit is the functions of the human skeleton. Meet Larry. Larry helps us to understand some of the functions of the human skeleton. We can look at movement. We can look at the way that certain bones are designed to protect parts of our soft tissue like our brain, our heart, our lungs and shows us the reason why we can stand upright. Imagine what we would be like if we had no bones. Behind me you will see some examples of x-rays that you will find in the kit as well. An x-ray is designed to help us see right down to our bones and that way you can tell if you've had any fractures or breaks Another really neat part of this kit is Zach. Meet Zach. Zach is very interesting because on one side we have this gorgeous little picture of him and on the other side it's a skeleton. But take a close look. When we put him up to the light you can see how his skeleton relates to his body. Now let's get on with an experiment. For this experiment we are going to be doing rubbery bones. This one comes out of a book called Make Science Fun by Jacob Strickling. For this experiment, you will need some white vinegar, a bowl, a knife, and a chicken bone. Take a chicken lead bone and scrape off any excess. Once you have scraped everything off your chicken bone, then place it into a glass bowl and pour white vinegar over the top. Now wait 24 hours. If you take a close look at the bone submerged in the vinegar, you can see little bubbles attached. These are bubbles of carbon dioxide gas. Well, when the author of this book that we're using today, Jacob Strickling, talked about this being a slow process, he wasn't wrong. We have waited 24 hours and checked and there was not a lot of movement, not a lot of bend. So um, I have waited another 24 hours and replaced the white vinegar. So if you take a closer look now, you can see that we are starting to get some bend in our bones. Bones are really amazing because they're not only really strong, but they're flexible as well. So this experiment shows us that bones are very interesting in their makeup and structure. So how did we make the bone bendy? Well, we have created a chemical reaction between the vinegar and the bone itself. Vinegar has the term acetic acid and our bones, the outer part of the bone is calcium phosphate. When these react, then you get your carbon dioxide, water, salt, and bendy bones. Have a scientific day.